And uh, have you seen a lot of places here in Hungary? Uh, I mean, when did you arrive exactly? I've seen a few. I arrived in spring, just before Easter. Oh, and I noticed that there are some really interesting holidays and traditions here in Hungary. Easter is a two-day holiday in Hungary, celebrated with great fanfare and religious fervor. The holidays are enjoyed to the fullest by the Hungarians. A number of folk customs are still alive, like sprinkling, which is done on Easter Monday. On the day, boys playfully sprinkle perfume or perfumed water on girls. Until some time back, young men used to pour buckets of water over young women's heads. For this, they ask a kiss and a painted act from the girls. The 20th of August is St. Stephen's Day in Hungary. On this day, Hungarians celebrate King Stephen and the founding of the Hungarian state. Stephen was crowned king in the year 1000 with a crown sent by Pope Sylvester II. During his reign, he created the Christian Hungarian kingdom from the Hungarian tribes and strengthened the church in Hungary. On the 20th of August, the Hungarian national flag is everywhere and there are processions and fireworks all over the country. The 23rd of October is the day of the revolution and freedom fight in 1956 and of the proclamation of the Hungarian Republic. It was the day when the Hungarians started the revolution against the Stalinist government and its Soviet-imposed policies. Oh, and uh, I found a, a surprising thing that uh, the 20th of August is also a national holiday here, but it's also in Estonia, so I was really surprised to find this out. But if I think about the holidays, I think my favorite one is Christmas. So, how do you celebrate Christmas here? Is there a Santa Claus, Christmas tree, lots of presents? Yeah, we have all that here, only that uh, Santa Claus doesn't actually come at Christmas time. I really should be going now, it's so late. Okay, I'll come with you. Alright.